Rede we bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We glorify. Your holy name, we bow before your throne. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We glorify your holy name. We bow before your throne. We glorify your holy name. We bow before your throne we bless your name almighty god we bow before your throne we bless your name almighty god we bow before your throne we glorify your holy name. We bow before your throne. Hallelujah. Recipoto corodos kide. Rade borodo sepoto corodo kade. Rade borodo sati. Recipoto corodo kade. Rede boro do si poto koro do kedi. Rede boro do si poto koro do kedi. Resete po koro do kedi. Rede boro do si poto koro do kedi. Rede boro do skide. De boro do si poto koro do kedi. Rede boro do si poto koro do sete kedi. Rede boro do si poto koro do kedi. Rede boro do sete. Rede borodo kadi, rede teke te te borodo kadi, rasi poto korodo kadi, rede borodo se poto korodo kadi, rede borodo si poto korodo kadi, rede borodo se poto korodo kadi, rede borodo si te, ya borodo se poto korodo skide, rede borodo se poto korodo kadi, rede borodo si te. Rasi po koro do kade, rede boru do se po to koro do kade, rede boru do si po to koro do kade, rede boru do se, rasi po koro do ski rede se te, rede boru do se po to koro do kade, rede boru do se te, rede boru do si po to koro do se te ke te ke te ke te, rede boru do si po to koro do kade. Rade borodo site, rade borodo kadi, rase poto korodo site, rade borodo se poto korodo kadi, de borodo se poto korodo kadi, rade te ke te te poto korodo skide, rade borodo se poto korodo kadi, rade borodo se poto korodo kadi, 
Redebo rudo se potokoro do gade. Alleluia, redebo rudo se te potokoro do gade. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Resi potokoro do gade. Redebo rudo se potokoro do gade. Redebo rudo se Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. Almighty oh, God. We bow for your throne. We glorify your holy name. We bow before your throne. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We glorify your holy name. We bow before your throne. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That wonderful name, the name of Jesus. That wonderful name, the name of Jesus. Oh, that wonderful name, the name of Jesus. There is no other name. I know. Oh, Rese Potokad. Rade Borodo si Potokorodo. Rese te Potokorodo. Rade Borodo si Pokorodo si te kete Borodo. Borodo. Rese Potokorodo. Rede Borodo si te kete. Thank you. Hallelujah. It was is whiter than the snow. Hallelujah. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. It washes white.
In Jesus' name, we worship. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Good morning, our Bishop, our Pastors. Hallelujah. How are you? Amen. 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 We thank God. Yeah, to God be the glory. I want us to go to the um, Lord's Prayer in Matthew chapter 6. I'm going to read from verse 9. Glory, glory, glory to the Father. Glory, glory, let us read from verse 9. It says, According to the word of God, after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in name, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to uh, focus on verse 13. Um, I says, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Let us worship the Lord with this scripture and return all glory to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us uh, st start to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we bless your name. We return the praise and glory. We thank you, Lord, 
for what you have been doing in our lives, in the church, in the nations of the earth. Yes. We thank you for your mercies, oh God, which yes. I have allowed which endure it forever. Thank you for your covenant of mercy, your covenant, oh Lord, with your church. Oh Lord, with your, your, your covenant of salvation and deliverance. Father, we thank you for your blood. We return the praise and glory. You have purchased all nations, all kingdoms by your blood that you shed on the cross of Calvary. We thank you, Jesus, for paying that price. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, thank you, Lord. Let it be your name, O God. Rade Boro do Thank you for standing the For God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for saying, thank you, Jesus, because we died on the cross to purchase salvation. Blessed be your name, O God. You take all the glory in the name of Jesus. You deserve all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sing praises to your name, O God. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and great to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great. And greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great. And greatly to be praised. Hey, I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great. I'm going to be praised. Hey. 
As he breathes in you. As he breathes in you. Praise to your name. Oh, God. For your name is great. And great. Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to take a moment and begin to thank God for the mighty things he has done. In our midst in Christ Love Ministry in Zimbabwe. Let us just praise him. Let's thank him. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We thank you for your thank you, Jesus. Your name is so your name is great. Your name is awesome. Your name is wonderful. Jesus. Bless you be your name. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. Thank 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 you. Hallelujah, oh, receive the Receive the Receive Thank you for your grace, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Just want to say, 
Jesus, we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want our pastor to take us to the anchor for the year. Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 64. Verse 1 to 4. Let us read together. It says, Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that, the, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. As when the melting fire burneth, the fire causes the waters to boil, to make thy name known to thy adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. When thou these terrible things which we look not for, thou camest down the mountains, flow down at thy presence. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither had the eye seen, nor God by thee. What you have prepared for him that waited for him. Hallelujah. Indeed, in Zimbabwe, 
we saw what we look not for. Hallelujah. What we did not expect, God did mighty miracles, terrible things. Hallelujah. Even things that I has not seen, he has not heard. And, uh, and we can see that, you know, there's a new dimension to the manifestation of God. There's a new anointing. Hallelujah. Anointing to raise people from wheelchair. Anointing to open the eyes of the blind. Let us really appreciate God for this anchor in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the mighty things he has done. Hallelujah. The great things he has done. Indeed, he deserves the praise. Hallelujah. I want us to meditate and ponder on those miracles and testimonies. And let us begin to praise God in the mighty name of Jesus. Because he has fulfilled these words in our eyes. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord, for your word. Yes. We thank you for fulfilling your word. We mm. thank you for the things we did not even expect, oh, Father. Mm. Father, Lord, the things that we look not for. Father, mm. Lord, your mighty hand, your mighty hand brought it to pass. Oh. We bless your name. We return the praise and glory. We thank you because, oh, Lord, what the, the evil, what the men, oh, Lord, the people had taught, the evil that they had taught in their heart, they were not able to perform Lord Jesus, we bless your name. We thank you for the deliverances that you wrought, Father, and they will return the praise and glory. It's not by power nor by might, but it's by your spirit. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus for your blessing. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the testimonies of salvation. We thank you for the testimony of healing. We thank you, Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus for your mighty works. We bless your name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So oh, thank you for your grace, oh God, that had brought salvation, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, to that part of Zimbabwe and indeed all of Zimbabwe. We bless your name, we bless your name. Reci potoko rodosi. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. Reci potoko rodoke. Reci potoko rodosi. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Reci potoko Devorudoke, <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Redeborudoket, <laughs> In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want us to go to the book of Second Corinthians. Now we're going to pray as God has started to set free 
the nation and has manifested its presence. I want the nation of Zimbabwe to be fully free in every area, economically, spiritually, in the mighty name of Jesus. The book of Second Chronic, uh, Corinthians chapter two, or chapter, yeah, Second oh. Corinthians chapter two, verse 17 to 18, it says, now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. But we all with open face, beholding as a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even by the spirit of the Lord, even by the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want us to pray that, that the, the presence of God has come into that nation. It says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah. There is no bondage of any sort, bondage by economic bondage, spiritual bondage, uh, financial bondage. We are going to pray that let the spirit of God in the name of Jesus move in that nation. As it has started, that let that presence bring total freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Rase poko rodo city, rase tepo toko rodo kete, rede bo rodo sepo toko rodo kete, rade bo rodo sepo toko rodo kete, rade bo rodo sepo toko rodo kete, rade de de bo rodo city, rade bo toko rodo kete, rade bo rodo sepo 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 toko Rajaburu do se poto kuru do kadi. 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 Rajaburu do se poto
we pray amen this scripture also speaks of a veil that has covered the eyes of the people but the scripture said that as they turn to the lord they said that veil shall be removed from the heart i want us to pray whether it's the veil of religion or the veil of status quo just to accept situations as they are in that nation to say things are just as they are without even turning to the lord i want that veil to be removed hallelujah yes, so that in that nation he says here now that he said, Lord, the Lord is that spirit. I never know anybody that the spirit of the Lord entered into that was not changed uh, spiritually, physically, financially. So I want us to pray, starting from that bezel bridge or where the, the foot of the of the of the servants of the Lord has stepped. Let any veil that is covering the eyes of the people, let it be removed and let the country change spiritually economically from glory to glory according to this scripture in the mighty name of jesus let us pray <laughs>
tare eta to ko tukere papa pa ko tukele bahata la ba se li ko tere papa pa ko se po to ko bahata la ba 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 pa se ente ni bahata la ko se krata la ba Rabba Tele Papa Hunter Loko Sekranta Leba Bante Leba, Bari Ukuli Papa Papa Hunter Leba, Rudu Papa Papa Leba Papa Hunter Leba, Leba Leba
As we pray, still pray on that prayer point. If you look at the book of Revelation, chapter 6, I'm going to read uh, in verse 8. It says, And I looked and behold a pay horse, and his name that sat upon him was death, and head followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, now listen, with hunger. He said, with sword and with hunger. Mm -hmm. And then he now said, death and with the beasts of the earth. I remember Bishop was talking about animals, you know, you know, this beast of the earth might be, it might look physical, but it's a spiritual thing also. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also with hunger. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray mm -hmm. against this spirit of death and hell in that nation that has brought the sanctions and the embargoes and the manifestations. We're going to pray against it and we're going to break that spirit. Hallelujah. And that, mm -hmm. that this spirit that is also operating upon the earth, that is wanting to bring hunger through food shortages and all that, that is another uh, agent of this spirit of death and hell, hunger. So we're going to ask God to break that spirit in Zimbabwe and also to break that spirit even in the nations of the earth as we pray. Let us begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Receipt to Corodos, Rajaburudos, Sepoto Corodos, 
Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 16. We're going to read verse 12 and 13. The book of John, chapter 16. Verse 12 and verse 13. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me just read from my Bible here. Mm -hmm. It says, I have yet many things to say, to unto, say you, unto you, but you cannot you hear them now. How be it when the spirit of the truth is come, come he, will guide he will guide you into all truth. Into all truth. For and he shall, speak, shall, he shall speak not of speak of himself, of himself but whatsoever, but whatsoever he, shall he shall hear, that shall that he shall speak. speak and and he shall show you things to come. To come. Hallelujah. You Amen. know, when Bishop, this is what uh, the Lord gave to his disciples to encourage them when he was living. Hallelujah. Mm. And, you know, and I want us to, to as, you know, as Bishop has been there and has left, I want us to hand over the church to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He mm. said that there, has, there are some, many things that are difficult for them to bear. You know, even in the, in the church here, in, in town, in Windu, in Namibia, sometimes mm. when you are preaching and you are talking about some certain things, like, for instance, tight, you know, you, do, you will say it this year, the next year, you say it again, you say you know, it's like there is, it's too hard for them to be it. So, but mm -hmm. it's only the Holy Spirit that can help from, you know, mm -hmm. from this scripture for people to be able to bear and to understand these things. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So whatever we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to help the people there that have heard uh, the hard truth. Hallelujah. The Bible says there is the spirit of truth and it shall guide you into all truth. Let the mm -hmm. spirit of God uh, let Bishop Living be advantageous to them. Hallelujah. Let them uh, begin, let the Spirit of God incubate them. Hallelujah. And guide them into all truth. And let us just hand them over to the Holy Spirit to, to bring them to maturity. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we pray, let us have this, this scripture in mind and uh, let the Holy Spirit take control. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray for the church. To reveal himself to them. Let's 
Now, my last prayer point before I hand over to Bishop is in the book of Acts, chapter 2. Uh, from verse 46 to 47. Acts chapter 2, 46 to 47. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The book of Acts chapter 2, from verse 46 to 47. Mm. <clears throat> And they, and they continue daily really with one accord, one accord in, the in the temple and, and breaking bread, bread, bread from house to house, to house. Did eat, did eat their, meat their meat with gladness and, and singleness of heart, of heart. Praising, praising God, God and having favor with all with the people. All people. And, and the, the Lord, Lord to the added church to the church daily, such as should, should be saved. saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. We thank God for our pastors that are there. Uh, because Bishop left church leadership there in charge. I want us to pray that the, the fellowship of the church or the people there should be in one accord in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. They Amen. have to submit to the leadership and also follow the doctrine so that according to this word, they said when Everybody, everybody has singleness of heart. It says, praising God and having favor from all people. It says, the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. Hallelujah. So let's Amen. ask that the Lord uh, give the people the singleness of heart. Give the leadership a singleness of heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So that this scripture will be fulfilled as it is written here in the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray. Tele <laughs> 
Thank God for his grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'll give the time over to Bishop. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elder. Those were very powerful scriptures. I hope uh, the team has taken note of these scriptures to pray and hand over the church to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Mm. I want us to look at Acts chapter 12, NLT, Acts chapter 12 from verse 1, um, actually, yeah, from verse 1 to, to 9, and then we'll take it from verse Begin from verse um, 18 to the end, 24, the book of Acts, NLT 12. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, can Pastor Collins hear me? Yes, Bishop. Acts 12 from verse 1, NLT. To 9 and from verse 18 to 24. One to twelve, then eighteen Acts chapter twelve from verse one to twelve first, and then from verse eighteen to twenty-four. We take the first twelve verses first. Thank you, Jesus. Let's read together. Mm. Now, um, about that time, Herod. Herod, I want us to start from verse 1. 
Where am I, my squirrel? Form is frozen. Okay, about that time, King Herod began to persecute to persecute some believers in the church. He had the apostle James, John's brother, killed with a sword. When Herod saw how much he displeased the Jewish people, he also arrested Peter. This took place during the Passover celebration. Then he imprisoned him, placing him under the guard of false courts of false soldiers each. Herod intended to bring Peter out for public trial after the Passover. But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very earnestly for him. The night before Peter was to be placed on trial, he was asleep fasting with two chains between two soldiers. Others stood guard at the prison gate. Suddenly there was a bright light in the cell and an angel of the Lord stood before Peter. The angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said, quick, get up. And the chains fell off his wrist. Then the angel told him, get dressed and put on your sandals. And he did. Now put on your coat and follow me, the angel ordered. So Peter left the cell, following the angel, but all the time he thought it was a vision. He didn't realize it was actually happening. They passed the first and the second guard post and came to the iron gate leading to the city, and this opened for them all by itself. So they passed through and started walking down the street, and then the angel suddenly left him. Peter finally came to his senses. It is really true, he said. The Lord has sent his angel and saved me from Herod and from what the Jewish leaders had planned to do to me. When he realized this, he went to the home of Mary, the mother of John Mark, where many were gathered for prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And then I want us to read from verse, so that we don't stop the flow, from verse 18. At dawn, there, there was, was a great, great, great commission among the soldiers about what had happened to Peter. To Peter. Herod ordered a thorough search for him. When, when he could be found, Herod interrogated the guards and sent them, them, them to death. Afterward, Herod left Judea to stay in Caesarea for a while. a while. Herod was very angry with the people, with of, the Tyre people of Tyre and Sidon. So, so they sent the delegation to make peace, make with, peace him, with him because their cities, their cities were dependent, dependent upon Herod's before food. Before food. The delegates the want the support of Blastus, Eros' personal assistant, and an appointed appointment with Herod was, Herod was granted. When, when the, the day arrived, Herod his, put on his royal robes, sat on his throne, and made a speech to them. To them. Then the people gave him a great a great of a God, the voice of a God, not, not of, of a man. man. Instantly, an angel of the Lord struck Lord Herod struck Lord with the witness because he accepted the people's worship instead of, instead giving, of the giving the glory to God. So he so was he consumed, was consumed with, bombs with bombs and, died. and died. Meanwhile, the word of God continued to spread, and there were many new believers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, <laughs> it is no secret that. The church of God is always persecuted. Mm -hmm. You see the political um, elements that were involved in this persecution. But I'm not so I'm not uh, too concerned about the, the 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 small small persecution the church in Zimbabwe began to experience. You no, know, I. I 
that is not really a problem if the pastor will pray there, <clears throat> if the people will pray. I've already spoken to the team. They cannot take that land without prayer. Mm. Uh, but what I want to want us to pray about is for Nigeria. I met a Nigerian pastor at the airport who told me a very shocking and bizarre story. We already saw that they went to a Catholic church. These uh, armed men, uh, armed uh, groups, went mm. into the Catholic church and slaughtered people. They've been mm. kidnapping the Catholic bishops and all that. Now, a Nigerian pastor here told me at the airport in Johannesburg that uh, his mentor, that is his own maybe bishop or overseer who trained him, uh, was kidnapped. When he was kidnapped, he was actually going for a conference the 30th anniversary of another church that he, uh, that he helped, I mean, whose pastor he helped to raise. And 30 kilometers to where he was going, he was kidnapped. And they were asking for a hundred million naira. Now, hundred million in any currency is a lot of money. When you calculate it, it comes to about six, seven million dollars, US dollars. They negotiated with the kidnappers. Now they wanted about five million US dollars. Mm. So the, the, the thing that baffled me is that the church in Nigeria is, is sleeping to the extent that they begin to kidnap Pentecostals. And I was saying, I was saying to him, to my husband, to Ike, I said, well, the people that these kidnappers used to take were also human beings for whom God had concern. And so if the church is sleeping, God will wake the church up. And I think he's waking us up by allowing mm -hmm. us to be kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, yes, when uh, Herod saw that uh, when he killed James, the, the people did nothing. Then he took Peter. Then the church woke up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Mm. So we need to do, I want us to really pray for that country also, that mm. these kidnappers will be judged, that fire will consume them like fire consumed Herod. Mm -hmm. That God would deliver that nation from their hands, like the Lord God delivered uh, Peter from cell. And the, the herald behind it, and apparently it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's not just armed groups now or whatever, religious groups that are doing this, the police chiefs, uh, political figures, they see kidnapping as a way of making money, that God will smite all of them that are behind that wickedness in that country and destroy them. Well, Zimbabwe also needs deliverance from any figure, political or whatever, that God will smite these figures in Africa that are causing trouble because they, they, they love money so much because they were raised up in poverty, so money is their God. Their God mm. will smite them so that this continent can be free. That is my own prayer point. And when we start to pray, I want us to keep praying seriously from the bottom of our heart, because I believe with God, nothing shall be impossible. Amen. I believe that if God could deliver Peter, he can deliver, he can still deliver his church now. Yes, if yes. the Lord did not step in, I was telling also the pastors there to study the book of Acts and see how God stood up for his church in the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want us to really pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord would deliver the church from evil works, okay. deliver Africa from all evils and 
and uh, set Africa free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Ukuli 
I want us to look at um, Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. But this time I prefer we look at it in King James Version. Revelation 13, verse 10. King James. It says, uh, let's read together, please. He that leadeth into captivity shall go go into captivity. He that that killeth with the sword sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the sin. Hallelujah. Enough, enough of killing in this Africa by so-called leaders, so-called people in empower to kill. They empower themselves to kill, to lead into captivity, to arrest, to kidnap. The Bible says they also shall go into captivity. They that are killing with the sword shall be killed with the sword, whether with the sword of man or with the sword of angel. They must be smitten in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He that the Bible says anyone who lives by the sword shall die by the sword. People are living by the sword, by wickedness in this Africa. Let the, God says his sight is not shortened, that he's not able to save, but nobody is calling for justice. Let us call for justice that God might rescue Africa from the hand of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus, shall we pray? Mm-hmm. 
Amen. So spend the next one minute or so just to pray. I don't know this overseer or bishop. I don't know. I don't know him, but I just think uh, if they insult one of us, they insulted all of us. Let us pray specifically for his release. That those who have kidnapped him, who are now looking for 80 million from wherever, I don't know where, that this, the angels of the Lord will begin to smite them, that Jesus. they will begin to die one by one until they release it, that they will see what they have never seen before, ah. that fire will fall into their camp, and all the captains of kidnappers in Nigeria, they will begin to experience the wrath of God yes. in their mind. Never ever Baba, <laughs> 
the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let him experience God. Let him experience the heavenly Father. Let him see that you are a living God. Keep a little bit of you with us. 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 Masi <laughs> Amen. Wherever persecution may want to arise for the new church in 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 Basel Bridge. Let God silence them by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray quickly Amen. wherever, whoever the enemy wants to use to persecute that church, however Amen. they have used everything they know how to use, whatever they still want to use, let the fire consume them and their evil yes. altars. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are the winner always, Lord Jesus. Amen. Is the greatness and power and the glory 
and the victory and the majesty for all that's in the earth and in the earth and the earth is done Die, oh Lord. Father, we bless your holy name this morning. We thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords, because we know you have heard us. And we thank you for answers and rapid deliverances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Mm -hmm. All power belongs to you. There is mm -hmm. no power that belongs to any man. There is no power that belongs to the devil. All power, all authority in heaven and on earth belongs to you, Father. We thank mm -hmm. you, Lord, that by your spirit you will establish your church. You will keep the people non backslide. Your spirit mm -hmm. will teach and train them and talk to them and comfort mm -hmm. them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We also mm. thank you, Lord, that, that for your name's sake, you reverse the poverty in Zimbabwe, the poverty in Africa, Father. For your name's sake, because of poverty, people are doing all kinds of things. People are not actually following you with their whole heart. And let the spirit of poverty in Africa be accursed at this time in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, where there are sanctions, let them be lifted. We pray, Lord, that the spirit of comfort would lift all those sanctions and make the people comfortable in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for rapid deliverance for that man of God. He has mm. served you all his life is an old man. Heavenly oh, Father, no. him from this evil persecution mm. that has arisen from nowhere in his <laughs> old day in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. And every other person who is not even a Christian or who is a Christian who has been harassed and kidnapped and, uh, and, and is being traumatized, Father, deliver them all in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise and all the glory. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Surely, Surely, goodness and mercy, mercy shall follow us all, all the days, days of day. our lives. We shall dwell in the, house, in the house, house of the Lord forever. forever. Amen. 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 And now may the grace of, the grace our, Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ, love the love of, of God, God the fellowship, of the, Lord, fellowship the of the Holy Spirit, be with us, us now and forevermore. Hallelujah. Amen. It is well. Amen. 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 Amen.